but um, um, we can now hear um, from Petr Cech. He's alongside Des. Is he? I can't see him. Tell me he's there, Des. He's there, he's there, he's, he's a multitasker, he's not just a, a technical advisor, he's a, he's a, a goalkeeping coach and a goalkeeping scout, because we hear you had a big influence on bringing Edward, Edward Mendy to this club. Well, as a part of my job is obviously to know about players when I'm asked by the club or by the manager, so obviously, uh, you know, I, I gave my input in terms of, uh, you know, to search of the of the goalkeeper because we wanted to add to you know to our goalkeeping group uh, a slightly different uh, type of a goalkeeper you know we obviously we have Kepa and we have Eli Caballero who's been you know uh, every time we needed him he was ready to step in and uh, you know we uh, we decided with uh, with Kepa uh, going through a difficult moment where things were not perfectly happening for him on the pitch we decided to add to our goalkeeping group and and then obviously, you know, we, we agreed to, to bring uh, Eduard and, and so far, as obviously, he's been doing great. Yeah, has, yes, because Mendy can be the first Chelsea keeper to clock up five successive clean sheets in a decade. You probably remember the keeper who did that last time. That'll be you, of course. Yeah, I, I remember my start and, and obviously it's been it's been great start for me because if I remember in the, in, in the first eight games, we had seven clean sheets. But uh, but obviously, if uh, if he gets and makes it better, then I will I will be happy because of uh, because the team will do well and we will we will be winning and this is ultimately what we want. He's a big lad. I mean, six foot six inches and he's 28 years old. How did he stay under the radar for so long? How come you picked him up now? I think you know I have to give credit to Christoph Lollishon who uh, who actually spoke to me about him three and a half years ago when uh, when when Eduard started playing for us because. Uh, you know, he. The one thing which is which is great about his story is obviously his his year where he he were because of the the fault of his agent he was without the club. So you know, while I was playing at Arsenal, he told me said you know watch this goalkeeper is very interesting story. So I started watching him and following him. And obviously, as you watch all the other goalkeepers as well, and and when I took my job, I watched about 30, 40 different goalkeepers over the past uh, year and a half but uh, but obviously I kept following Eduard and when you see his um, evolution and his uh, his progression every year obviously it, it got me the idea of uh, you know when we talked about what we want from the goalkeeper what we would like to add uh, to our goalkeeping group you know his, his name came to my mind and in the end of the day uh, you know the manager has a big input the club uh, and the scouting everybody has his input and and we all agreed that uh, is the goalkeeper we should uh, we should get over. Well done, Peter. Well done for getting a goalkeeper, and well done for getting here as well, mate. <laughs> <laughs> no, I've been, no, we so far it's been great to have him. I have to say, and hopefully he will continue like that. Thanks very much. Thank you.